Hello everyone, welcome to back my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Susan Boyle didn't become one of the most successful singers to come out of the Got Talent verse by accident. The star carved out a career for herself on sheer talent alone and hasn't looked back since her iconic viral audition in 2009. For years, Boyle has proven she can take any song and perform it flawlessly. But what she's done with Ella Fitzgerald's Cry Me a River is truly special. We've tracked down undated rare footage of Boyle, looking right at home performing the song in an understated, yet still very emotional, fashion. While fans are used to seeing Boyle hit soaring high notes with ease, this calm and focused version of Cry Me a River proves that Boyle can bring grace to any song, regardless of genre. With an orchestra backing her up, Boyle masterfully lets her vocals take center stage as she casually belts out the lyrics. She even lets her acting skills shine at a few points, throwing the camera some well-timed smiles as the song reaches its crescendo. Time has flown by quickly for Boyle. In a 2020 interview with Country Images, Boyle reflected on her success and still can't believe how quickly her world turned upside down after her 2009 Britain's Got Talent audition. One day you're sitting in a room with your cat not doing anything, the next you're on stage and in a competition, she mused. It was a complete turnaround. Of course, with age comes wisdom, and the now 63-year-old star didn't let the bright lights of success distract her from living out her dream. When you're young you're more phased than when you get to a certain age, you become more relaxed. I'm living the dream. I've enjoyed every second of it, she said. Here's what to know about Cry Me a River. Originally written for Ella Fitzgerald by songwriter Arthur Hamilton in 1953, the blues-inspired ballad was recorded by Fitzgerald in 1961 for her studio album Clap Hands, Here Comes Charlie. However, a version by Julie London predates Fitzgerald's version by six years. London recorded Cry Me a River in 1955. It eventually became the most popular and well-known version of the song. In 2001, London's version of Cry Me a River was inducted into the Grammy Hall of Fame, cementing its status as one of the most iconic songs ever. Countless artists have covered the song, including The Voice's Michael Bublé, whose version reached number 34 on the UK Singles Chart in 2009.